Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerben, and you are watching Chad Chat. Last week I did a webinar for Smith Micro on the advantages of Anime Studio for Flash users. It went pretty well. We had a good turnout, I didn't screw up all that much, and overall I think it was a good experience. I told you guys that the video, uh, the recording of that webinar would be posted this week sometime. It has not been posted as of yet of this recording, but I will keep you guys updated, and I'm sure next week uh, in Chad Chat, I will be telling you guys to go check it out and be giving you the link and all of that. So today, I want to focus on Anime Studio and talk to you a little bit about the debut and pro versions that the software provides. I've gotten this question a few times in the comments section and a few times individually, actually, and people are just curious. What are the differences? Which version is better for them? And I will be trying to outline all of that in today's Chad Chat. First, let's start with the basics. Debut is more for hobbyists, people who just want to try out animation with the very basic tools and see what the fuss is all about. Pro, on the other hand, is more for professionals who take animation a bit more seriously. Maybe they do it for work. Maybe they do it as a professional um, interest as far as putting videos on YouTube at a higher quality. Or, again, it's for people who take animation as a hobby but just want more features. Right now, the debut version is way cheaper than that of the pro version, and that is because it does lack a lot of features. So I will be going over now the features, or the main features I think that are important that debut differs from, uh, from pro. And so this will hopefully give you an opportunity to gauge which one is best for you. So to get started, let's talk about length. Pro allows you to create a project file that has unlimited minutes and frames. So you could create a project file if you want that's 30 minutes long or longer. Debut, on the other hand, limits you to only two minutes of footage per project file. Now this is a pretty big thing because let's say you want a longer movie. Um, you're trying to make something more elaborate. Well, debut kind of hinders you in that because you don't have the ability to make longer um, films in your project files. Now, of course, you could maybe avoid this by just exporting your project files out individually and piecing them all together, the two-minute segments, into another piece of software. But it is cumbersome, and understandably, Pro gives you more options when it comes to that. So if you're looking to make really short films, debut might be perfect for you. But if you're looking for longer films, you may want to consider Pro. Debut only gives you two audio tracks. So let's say you have a voice and you have music and you have sound effects you want to put into your movie with Anime Studio. If you're using the debut version, you're going to be limited to two audio tracks only. And that can hinder you, especially if you want to create um, an audio experience for your production. The same applies for video tracks. You can only have one video track per debut project file. So if you want to overlay video into your project, which you can easily do with the software, debut will only give you one video track to work with. Another thing, one of the advantages of Anime Studio is the ability to create robust character animations. And with that, in the pro version, you have an actions panel that allows you to save and reuse actions from your characters and combine them and so on. I've done a tutorial on it. You can check it out. It's a pretty cool feature. Well, Debut does not have any actions panel at all, meaning you can't access the actions panel, you can't save actions, reuse them, and so on. So that might be a consideration if you are looking to do bigger project files that consider or take up a lot of animation, you might want to consider that as something when you are looking at the two versions. The character wizard is in both versions for Anime Studio 8, both in, both in debut and pro. The difference though is that the pro version 
allows you to create and reuse actions. The debut version does not. So you can create your characters, but you can't use um, the actions panel with it or set up the actions for your characters in the character wizard. Each version comes with the bone tool, allowing you to rig up your characters like puppets and control them and basically make the animation process a lot easier. The only difference is that the debut version lacks physics for the bones. So let's say you have a character who has antennas on his head and he turns his head. The physics would allow those antennas to move even a little bit based on the head turn or the head tilt and so on. You won't have that in the debut version, which can be a really cool feature if you're trying to enhance the look of your animation. There are only four layers in the debut version of Anime Studio. You'll know in the pro version you have a bunch of different layers that you can choose from, but in debut you only get the vector, image, bone, and switch layer. So essentially you can draw, you can import images, you can create bones, and you can create a switch layer which allows you to swap layers in and out to create, let's say, different movements like a hand opening and closing or an eye blinking and so on. However, Pro version gives you many more features, especially like the new patch layer in Anime Studio 8, as well as the group layer and 3D layers and all that sort of thing. So there are many more layers in Anime Studio Pro that you can take advantage of compared to the debut version. There's no onion skinning in debut, which allows you to um, control your frame-by-frame -frame animation more accurately, but allows you also to gauge how your animation looks from one frame to the next so you can create more accurate and, I guess, better animations. So onion skinning is not in debut, and that might be a consideration as well. There are no scripts in debut. So like the rain effects, the snow effects that I've shown in some of my tutorials and um, showcased in my animations, they are not in the debut version, so that is something to consider as well if you want those effects. And finally, I think this is important, there are no HD video capabilities in debut. So once you get your project all done and you're ready to export it, you won't be able to export it as an HD video. And this is important because in this day and age, especially with YouTube allowing us to put HD videos out and people wanting that higher quality you won't be able to deliver it. And it does make your animations look a lot better. So that is also another consideration. Overall, those are the features I had on my list, the main features. If you're looking for a more robust list of features um, comparing each software, I would check out the link I have provided in the details box. It gives you much more details on which each software um, gives you and which one lacks basically which um, features debut lacks compared to pro I would definitely check that out but overall if you're just really curious about animation but you don't want to pay much to explore it debut is a good start you can always upgrade to pro later on just keep in mind that you will have shorter videos and less options but you'll have enough options to get started on something basic and fun allowing you to explore the animation process. If you are looking to take your hobby to the next level, if you are looking to create um, commercials or other commercial work for um, animation, if you're looking to take your animation work to the next step, however, I would look into Pro because the features in there are great and I use them so I know this and they work very well. Anyway, that is uh, a wrap for today. If you guys have any more questions, please check out chadchat.incrediblettutorials.com. You can subscribe to me on Twitter, or you can check out my Facebook and Google Plus pages as well. And that is that. So I hope you guys found this video useful. I hope you explore Anime Studio if it is an interest to you and try out both versions. Remember, there are trials for each. Check them out. And I'll see you guys next week.